All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Disagreement is healthy. Have you ever, ever, ever in your life disagreed with something and you at times was very passionate in your disagreement um, of be it someone or, or something or subject? Only come later on. Only come to find out later on that your disagreement was unwarranted, that you were, let me say this word, wrong. You had a choice and you had the decision. You had a decision to make right then and there. You could continue to walk in your disagreement and ignore the facts and act like that, ah, that it's okay and you're right. Or you could mature. You can advance and go on to perfection and say, you know what, and acknowledge I missed it in this point right here, but I do uh, give thanks that I was able to remove the cover from off my eyes and accept the truth exactly for what it is and to walk in it. Too often, more than not, in um, social, political, economic perspective, religious point of views, no matter what it is, um, people are so passionate about their position, their standpoint, that when they, are dis when they disagree with something, someone or somebody about something, that they're staunched in their position, so staunched in their position that they're unwilling to look at the facts, unwilling to look at another perspective, and then to make a rational choice or decision. Most of us, we believe what we believe because it was told to us. We believe what we believe because it was ingrained into us. We believe what we believe simply because we chose to believe it. In other words, if we're not careful, we can play the creator of the universe ourselves by choosing either to accept or reject information based on our own personal belief. I submit to you that this is what's happening in the time that we're living in now. I, I submit to you that uh, very few people actually even knows what it means to exercise self-autonomy. Very, very few people. But the ones that do, they are informed, uh, they think independently, and they have the ability to be able to see a smoke screen, to see the truth for what it is. My question to you is this, do you have prejudice about anything? Um, are you unconcerned about what the truth or the facts really truly are because you've already determined what those facts were based on your own book of the law. Can we as a society, can we as a people advance forward? Can we go forward? And can we grow if we continue to keep having this kind of attitude and perspective about things? I'll leave that question up to you. But I think healthy dialogue, healthy discussion, especially debate, vigorous debate, is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity to be able to hear. Not only is it an opportunity to be able to hear, but it's an opportunity to have information presented to you. Otherwise, which if you continue to stay in the perspective that you so staunchly believe in, you wouldn't have anything else to challenge your personal beliefs and you would not have a thought to challenge what you believe in order to bring you to maybe, just maybe, and expect it in. Well, I hope that I didn't confuse the matter. I hope I communicated very, very well. Before adopting positions about anything, when you're listening to someone, just my advice, when you're listening to someone, is very careful that you really, truly give an attentive ear and be careful of the things that you have already in your own mind. Uh, let me put it like this. We have preconceived notions and ideas that we believe that is fact. Only come to find out that we will live in a fairy tale and there was no facts to them at all. Hope it says something to stimulate thought. Y'all be encouraged. Have a wonderful